Life short, smoke a port, on a port, on a port. In New York, can at the door. Kill Bill, track suit, cream shorts. Kill. Life short. Tap can't get your boy Young Habitat. And as you can see, we are here in a nice, lovely kitchen. And that's because I have moved to Florida and I haven't got all my shit set up here. So we're doing a how to sound like audacity video. It's been a minute in a kitchen and I'm really, really excited because I'm bringing back the how to sound like Travis Scott video. Um, I don't have the old video, so I'm completely making this one from scratch. So this is going to be crazy. It's going to be lit. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop in audacity real quick and let me see what I could um, come up with because I actually haven't put together the video. This is a pre pre intro. So I'll get back to you guys when I finish getting the um, effects. All right, half gang, as you can see, we are currently on audacity. I almost said FL studios. We've done so many FL studio tutorials, but we got the instrumental up here. Um, we got a verse that I wrote and some the tip the stereotypical Travis Scott um, background ad libs. We're gonna go ahead and mute the instrumental here, and I'm just gonna show you guys um, everything unedited. Riding around in a coupe. Yeah. Yeah, you hating, but I know that's what you do. It's lit. Kylie Jenner, baby mama, who are you? Yeah, yeah. Think I'm feeling sick of mode. I All right, so that was really cringy. So we're not gonna listen to that, as you guys could tell. There is a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, this may be a little bit more difficult because I am, once again, in a kitchen and not my normal bedroom. I got to get everything set up. But um, for the most part, these effects are going to be pretty much the same um, for both the background ad-libs and the main verse. Just the background's going to have um, a lot more reverb. So let's go ahead and just focus on this main verse right now. We're going to go ahead and mute it. Um, mute the background vocals here. So highlight it. Go into your effects. And first thing we want to jump into is auto-tune. And we all know Travis Scott loves his auto-tune. Travis Scott is the auto-tune man. So um, the key to this beat that I found was set in this key scale of G minor. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you have that set. If you guys are looking for your own instrumental keys, um, you want to use a website called Audio Keychain. I'll go ahead and leave that in the description for you guys. You just upload your track, and then it tells you the BPM and the um, key. So... That's that. Uh, for the input type, I have alto slash tenor because that's my vocal range. If you have a deep voice, you're going to be low male. If you're a soprano, um, you're going to be a soprano, but I'm alto slash tenor. I will be right back. I'm going to cut this part because my father is calling me, so give me a second. Okay, so we are back, half gang. So, yeah, um, auto-tune king. I have the retune speed set to five um, because it's heavily auto-tune. Um, human eye set to zero. I want that robot effect. And yeah, pretty easy, pretty straightforward auto tune. This is what it sounds like. Riding around in a coupe. Yeah, you hating, but I know that's what you do. Kylie Jenner, baby mama, who are you? Think I'm feeling sick of mode, I need some soup. Drink is cool, riding in a coupe. And yeah, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Auto tune is really, really easy when it comes to Travis Scott. So you're going to want to press apply there. Um, go ahead and close that afterwards. We're gonna go into the equalization next. And first thing we're gonna do is Ride and We're gonna go to our select curve and do 100 hertz rumble to cut out the bass there. Um, go back to equalization and we're gonna hit it with a nice tr um, treble boost here. Then you're gonna drag this first dot to about 2000 hertz and then um, lower the second dot to about three decibels leave it there and then next we're going to go to our compressor where's the compressor i'm looking for it guys oh yeah it's up we got it we got to scroll up here here we go compressor okay cool so i put the threshold to negative 12 decibels um noise floor at negative 40 decibels ratio 8 to 1 and i slid that attack time and release time all the way to the left and we pretty much got this so far. Riding around in a coupe. Yeah, you hating, but I know that's what you do. Kylie Jenner, baby mama, who are you? Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it made it a little bit louder. Um, we're going to take care of that. We're going to control it later on in the settings. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got so far there. We're going to want to go into the reverb next. And take a moment to pause the video and get these settings down. 
Um, he's got a very, very ambient sound, so that's why I put the room size to 77% and the reverb to 89%, um, lowered those, lo those low tones all the way down to 0%, um, and put the highs at 23%, put a lot of wet gain at negative 9 and then I lowered the dry vocals to about negative 2 And make sure when you're doing a Travis Scott style song, you're going to want to have that stereo width to 100 so it could be very, very ambient. So we get this now. Riding around in a coupe Yeah, you hating, but I know that's what you do So as you can see, big, big difference from the original vocals He relies a lot on a lot of reverb and heavy autotune That is Travis Scott So that's pretty much the core basis of what we want for the sound um, And then next we're going to go to limiter Our very last setting to control it all and you know how we do, oh, you OGs out there, we put the type to hard limit, and we limit it to negative 4. It shouldn't be at negative 3.9. We, we, we do negative 4 in these streets, so. And I'll just, that'll just limit the vocals, cut them down a little bit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Riding around in a coupe. Yeah, you hating, but I know that's what you do. Kylie Jenner, baby mama, who are you? Okay, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, speed through these um, background vocals because they're all going to be the same. I'm basically just going to skip to the part where I show you guys the different reverb settings because that's the only thing I changed. So I will probably cut the video now. Okay, so we're back and we have reached the, um, the reverb settings for the background vocals. It's a lot more reverb. Um, the main things that I changed here was the I set the reverb percentage all the way up to 94% and um, I went ahead and set that wet gain all the way to zero to make it very 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 wet so um, I'm gonna go ahead and press ok here and I'm gonna mute the main track too so you guys can kinda hear what's going on yeah it's lit yeah 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 so as you can hear, very, very echoey and very, very ambient. That's pretty much it for the Travis Scott background vocals. The last thing I need to do here is just go ahead and set it to um, negative 4 decibel hard limit here. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, pretty straightforward, easy tutorial. Travis Scott really isn't that difficult um, to replicate if you're going for that style of song. So we're going to go ahead and cut to the final product let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section it's been your boy young hafton i'll see you guys in our next upload peace out <laughs>